Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be doing Merch by Amazon update number 44. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be sharing how we organize everything. And what we do is we use Google Spreadsheets, the Google Drive and the Spreadsheets. They're kind of like Excel spreadsheets, but Google version. We use those spreadsheets to organize all of our text, what we upload, and who's doing what next. So let me show you our spreadsheets. So obviously I'm going to be blurring a lot of things, but I'm going to be explaining the sheet so that you guys can understand them. Now, like I said, this is all online. This is all in our Google Drive so that all three of us, me, Arit, and Maria, can all have access to it. And when changes are made to it, then the changes happen like live for everyone. And you can see the changes happening. Let's say if Maria is making a change or a read, I can actually see it live. We don't have to keep emailing. Like if we were to use a regular Excel spreadsheet, and we made a change, then we'd need to go and email it to Arit and Maria. And then if they made a change, they email it back to me. And you have all these different versions saved over and over again. So it's really useful, especially if you have a team, to use something like a Google Docs spreadsheet that is online that can be changed in real time. So this is what we call text for uploads. We make a lot of our own lingo up. So this is text for uploads. And it's exactly what it is. It's the text for the uploads that we need to do. So this is m mainly Maria's domain. This is all her in here. And you can see here we have some different things going on. So the first column here, this is the title. So this is what the title is going to be for our shirts. And these, uh, there's two bullet points for each title, each shirt. And then there's the brand name and then when I'm done uploading it, it says uploaded t-shirt, and then I just go yes, or no, or rejected. Now what's really cool about this is that because this is Maria's domain, when the shirts get put into here, I just go in and I see, okay, which ones say nothing on them, like which one, like under the uploaded shirt column, which one says nothing because then I know that hasn't been uploaded yet and it's very simple when I go in here and I'm ready to upload I have merch by Amazon open all I do is go through each column and I go control C copy control copy control paste and I just copy the title go head over there paste copy the bullet point paste copy the other bullet point paste copy the brand paste choose my colors next 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 upload so i've gotten into the habit of going really fast with these and a huge reason why it goes so fast is because we're not making up the title on the spot like when i'm already in merch by amazon doing the upload i'm not like thinking of the title or researching for the title Maria has gone and done the research in Merch Informer to find the proper keywords, and so it's already optimized. Everything's already optimized, and it's there ready for me to copy and paste while I'm doing the uploads. Next here is a sheet we call Design Ideas. So whenever we have an idea, we just put it in here, and then here under this here, Status of Text. So Maria will go in and see these design ideas and eventually we want these made into shirts. So when she's done doing the research and coming up with the text for that t-shirt design, she'll let me know what line the text is. So status of text, she'll say something like complete and then she'll say it's maybe line 143 on the text for uploads sheet. So that's Maria taking care of the text of the shirt. Then when Arit sees that Maria has done text for a design idea, then either she will create the design or she will assign it to either one of our two Upwork designers. And she'll state that in the status. So she'll, if she's doing it, she'll say something like she's working on it and it's not complete yet. 
or it shall say that one of the designers are working on it and it's not complete yet. Then when it is complete, then it's going to say design complete. And then when I see those two things, status of text and status of design, when I see those two things are complete, that gives me the cue to go and upload that design. And then I can go to the text for uploads tab and then find the specific text that Maria did that she told me where it was and then I go and upload it from there. I apologize if I'm sounding a little sick. If you watched the last week's video, I in the middle of the video I was like, oh sorry my throat's all sore. Later that night after I filmed that update video, I was so sick, I couldn't, you know, the, you know when you're so sick you just want to just lay in bed and your like nose is dripping, you're coughing, coughing a lung, and you got a fever, that's what had happened. So now it's the aftermath where I still have a sick voice. And these other tabs here, merch long sleeve uploads, merch hoodie uploads, Redbubble uploads, Etsy uploads, those are, you know, the, the other tabs. So we recently just got long sleeves and hoodies. So, because we did all those other designs in t-shirts, we gotta go and do the long sleeves and hoodies as well. Now, because we have so many designs, we can't just go all at once, and if we just start picking and choosing whatever, we're gonna lose track of what is being uploaded in long sleeve and hoodies. So, we have a system where if the shirt has sold as a t-shirt, we're going to do a hoodie on it because chances are if it sold as a t-shirt, perhaps someone would like it as a sweatshirt or a hoodie or a long sleeve. And then Redbubble uploads and Etsy uploads. Maria has taken over the, the Redbubble uploads and so she just lists out what's in there. Whenever she uploads a design, we, we just put it down there saying that, okay, we've done this design next. And the same thing with Reed and Etsy. She just puts in what she's done and if it has been published onto Printful and Etsy. So those were the main spreadsheets that me, Arit, and Maria work with. Let me show you this Google Docs spreadsheet. This is mainly what Arit works with when she's dealing with the Upwork designers. So we have a system for them as well. So there's a system with the three of us that I just showed you. And then Arit has her own system for dealing with the Upwork designers. Me and Maria don't get to speak to the Upwork designers. It's only Arit who's the point of contact. They deal with her, she deals with them. We relay information to her that she relays on to them. So it's not like sometimes they're contacting me or, or Maria or Arit. We want to keep things efficient as possible so they just deal with her. So here, this is the spreadsheet that she gives them and she puts the design idea for them. She describes it. She'll, she might put a link in there. She might refer to a photo that's in another Google Docs spreadsheet that we upload to. And then, you know, they go in and Arit made this herself and, and they can go ahead and choose their status. So in the beginning, it's going to be not started. Arit will mark it as not started because she will have first handed this to them. Then it's up to them to come in and, you know, Arit checks this periodically and she's developed a relationship with them where that, you know, they mark their progress as it's happening so that we have an open communication and that we're not wondering hey, where are the designs? Are you working on them? What's happening? We can just refer to this and this will let us know whether it has been started, it's in revision. It just makes it a lot easier when you know these kinds of things. So in here, you know, they'll get it, it's not started, and then when they do decide to start it, then they'll go design in progress. And then finally, when they are done, they'll go complete files uploaded. So we don't need to go and email them being like, hey, are you done? We can just see that, files uploaded, and they have their own folder in the Google Drive that we share with them, and that's where they put all of their designs, and it's, it's each specific. So we have two designers, so one has their own folder and the other has their own folder. And then if there's revisions, Arit will mark this as in revision, and then she will describe the revisions to the designer. 
Usually they get it after the first revision. We rarely have to go into a second revision. And we've got it to a point where they've kind of learned our style. And a lot of the times we don't really need revisions. It's usually quite small. Like if, if a, a color is not working or the text is not working, it's not usually like a complete redesign. So this is the Google Docs spreadsheet that Uri uses with the designers. As you can see, it's very helpful. It makes things very organized and you know what's happening and you don't need to like waste time emailing back and forth being like, hey, did you get my email about this design? Where are the designs? You're, you know, it's taking too long. Oh, I sent you the revision. Didn't you get it? Like, you don't want to have all this lost in translation stuff. When here, when it's on a spreadsheet and you've marked it appropriately, then you know what's happening. So that is an inside look. I've never shared these before. That is an inside look to our Google Docs spreadsheets. These are the actual ones that we use day to day when we are working our merch business. And as you can see, it makes things a lot easier. Before we had these, we were like writing things on a piece of paper, emailing all over the place. And then Arit, she came in and created this whole system. She's really good at creating systems for us to work really efficiently. So that is it for this video. Just to give you guys a real quick update here, our sales, they're still the same. Like I wish I had way cooler news to tell you guys, but they're still like five, six uh, a day. I mean, it was better than the whole freeze and it going down to zero for sure, but it's still not where I want it to be. You know, I'm, I'm wanting at least 10 to 20 t-shirt sales per day at this point. Still at the same tiers, sold a couple of sweatshirts here and there, sweatshirts, uh, long sleeves. I don't believe we've sold a hoodie yet. And to be honest, it's not that crazy to sell one of these because uh, the profits are pretty much the same. So I'm not really that phased over the whole sweatshirts and hoodies thing. So that was it for this Merch by Amazon update. Let me know if you guys use any spreadsheets. Do you guys do this too? Do you guys use Google Docs spreadsheets? Let me know in the comment section below. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back, back, back from the dead.